Chibai Atka Aksam Kok Atka Ekaterina Sotomayor Yupiagunga Hi, my name is Ekaterina Sotomayor. I'm an uh, Yupik Eskimo woman from Southwest Alaska's Lower Kusukum Delta, and I'm an Access Services Assistant with Multnomah County Library. Uh, we want to recognize that Multnomah County is sited on the ancestral homelands of the Multnomah, the Molala, the Kathlamet, the Chinook, the Clackamas, the Tualatin Kalapuya, and many other indigenous nations. These nations have become the Confederated Tribes of the Grand Ronde, the Confederated Tribes of the Siletz Indians, the Chinook Nation, and the Cowlitz Nation of Washington State. Land acknowledgments are a way for us to recognize and honor the enduring relationship that indigenous people have with our ancestral homelands. We know that the effects of colonization are still felt today, and land acknowledgments are a small step towards reconciliation and cultural revitalization. Bonoma County Library is super excited to present Native Storytime to you today. Karen Kitchen of the Osage Nation will be reading Hungry Johnny by Cheryl K. Minima. Mrs. Minima is a mi of the Mill Lack Band of Ojibwe. Hungry Johnny is illustrated by Wesley Ballinger, also of the Mill Lack Band of Ojibwe, and published by Minnesota Historical Society. Um, we want to let you know that there are lots more story times, activities, and performances on our website, multcolib.org. So be sure to check us out there. In the meantime, be well, stay safe, and enjoy story time. Birchi. Howe. Hello. Welcome to Multnomah County Library's Native Story Time. My name is Karen Kitchen and I'm a citizen of the Osage Nation of Oklahoma. And today, the book I want to share with you is titled Hungry Johnny. And Hungry Johnny was written by Cheryl Minima and illustrated by Wesley Ballinger. And both Cheryl and Wesley are citizens of the Milak Band of Ojibwe Indians from Minnesota. One thing uh, I want to share with you about this book is that it's dedicated to a boy named Johnny Bubba. And the other thing I want to share uh, is that in this story, this little boy, Hungry Johnny, is going to learn about how to be patient and why it's important to be patient. And he's going to learn about how to be respectful. Shall we get started? Hungry Johnny. Johnny was in his snow fort when his tummy began to growl. He peeked at Grandma through the kitchen doorway. I like to eat, 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 said Johnny. Grandma kept stirring and stirring her kettle of wild rice. Johnny trotted into the kitchen straight for the apples, oranges, bananas, and that new package of sweet rolls. I like to eat, 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 said Johnny. Grandma shooed his hand away. Beka, these are for the community feast. Beka is uh, an Ojibwe word that means wait. So she's saying, wait, these are for the community feast. Look at all those sweet rolls. Johnny put his head down and started to drag his boots out of the kitchen. That means I'll be waiting forever and I'm so hungry. But we're almost ready to go, said Grandma. Yay, said Johnny, jumping up and down.
Grandma kept her eyes on the snowy dirt road. Johnny sang, I like to eat, eat, eat. I like to eat, eat, eat. All the way to the community center. When the people were seated and the food neatly arranged, an elderly man began to say a very long prayer. Akwe, mi hui, mi gwech. And that is the Ojibwe language for first, I would like to thank. So the elder who's leading this prayer is going to have a lot of things to be grateful for and a lot of people to acknowledge for all their contributions. So yeah, that prayer could go on for a long time. Johnny dug inside his left coat pocket. He pulled out his mini monster truck, the cartoon sticker he got from his five-year checkup, and the sparkly white rock he'd found in the driveway. But there were no snacks. Hmm. Then Johnny dug inside his pants pocket and pulled out his little plastic buddy. Big Bill, said Johnny, excited to have finally found him. Shh, said Grandma. So he's learning he's got to be patient and he's learning he has to be respectful while the elder is speaking. Johnny put most of his treasures away and sat quietly until he heard the prayer end. Wisane! Let's eat or eat in the Ojibwe language. That's a word he's been waiting to hear. Grandma gently tugged the sleeve of his sweater as Johnny stood up and said, It's time to eat, eat, eat! Beka! We let the elders eat first. Remember this word, beka? Wait, we have to let the elders eat first. Johnny sat down. Why do elders get the good food first, he asked. Out of respect, said Grandma. Well, why are you getting up to eat, asked Johnny. Because I'm only a baby elder, said Grandma. What's a baby elder, asked Johnny. It's when you're too young to be old and too old to be young, said Grandma. Huh? asked Johnny. Grandma laughed. Johnny's tummy growled. So you see, the elders are lining up to go get um, food off the tables first. Here's another elder coming in. The long table filled. Grandma, I'm hungry, said Johnny. Her soft hand patted his knee. Becca, Becca, she said, wait, wait. Johnny's mouth watered as he watched the elders eat fried potatoes, wild rice, goulash, big chunks of fry bread, and thickly frosted sweet rolls. Look at those sweet rolls. That man looks like he's enjoying all that good food. And Johnny's just 
looking. You know his tummy's still growling loud. A place for two finally opened up at the table. Johnny stood up and then sat back down. Already taken, said Johnny. He looked at all the people still waiting to eat, and he started to count them. One, two, three. Grandma tapped Johnny's knee. It's time to eat. Johnny hopped up and trotted to the table. In a deep voice, he said, I like to eat, eat, eat. I like to eat, eat, eat. When Johnny sat down, the platter of frosted sweet rolls was empty. Oh, man, pouted Johnny. Look, somebody's coming up with a plate full of something. Maybe more sweet rolls? A woman picked up the empty platter and put an even bigger platter of sweet rolls on the table. Eat up, said the woman. Finally, said Johnny. But then he saw Grandma's friend Catherine walk through the door. Johnny looked down at his waiting plate and then back at Grandma's neighbor. She was definitely not a baby elder. Johnny stood up on his chair and yelled, Catherine, Catherine, it's time to eat, eat, eat. Johnny hopped off the chair and pulled it out. When Catherine sat down, she patted her knee and Johnny hopped into her lap. Grandma leaned over and whispered into Johnny's ear. Why do the little boys get all the good food? Why do the little boys get all the good food? Because, said Johnny, we like to eat, eat, eat. So Johnny learned about patience, he learned about respect, and um, he had a good time at the community feed. I don't think anybody left that community feed feeling hungry. So um, I think it would be fun to do a little song, and the song I want to share with you is a counting song, and it was um, uh, written or created uh, by a dear friend of mine. His name is Arlie Neskai, and he's from the Navajo Nation. And uh, in honor of our, our little hungry Johnny, I added a little verse, um, but I um, would love you to sing along with me. It's pretty simple, and um, by the time at least we get to the second or third verse, you'll probably be able to join right in. So I think I will um, use a little drum. Maybe some little shakers there too. So this is a counting song. Oh, 
song and I hope you enjoy today's story, Hungry Johnny. Thank you. <laughs>